welcome back to 13C. We're here at Copper Custom Armament in Valparaiso, Indiana. Uh, one of the closest uh, uh, silencer shop power dealers to me, and also uh, my friend Tim here as well. Uh, and of course Dave and the rest of the guys down here. Great shop if you're not familiar with it, if you're in the area, uh, definitely worth coming down. Even if you're not looking at buying a silencer, definitely worth coming down and visiting. So, I talked about the SID kiosk before quite a bit uh, in some of our uh, silencer videos, and today I wanted to actually take you down here and let you see what I'm talking about. It's a different scene, it, seeing it kind of, you know, here versus just talking about it, uh, you know, in the abstract. So what this kiosk does is it lets you uh, put in your fingerprints and put in other pertinent information, uh, some of which you could put, on, put in online if you want to save yourself some time that way at your silencer shop account. But in any event, we're going to walk through the process of buying a silencer using this kiosk. So let's uh, let's start off first and foremost, and we're going to wind up doing another video in the past on, in the future on how to actually buy a silencer separately. But for this point, we're going to focus mostly on our kiosk here and the steps that we're going to be doing. So first thing is to find one of these. So here in Indiana, there's a little there's uh, just over 60 silencer shop power dealers. Now what that means is these dealers have a relationship with silencer shop. So for example, if you buy a silencer from silencer shop, which is located in Texas, you go online, buy it online, they will ship it to your local dealer. And because they're a dealer that uh, has a relationship with silencer shop, they won't charge you a uh, shipping transfer uh, fee or uh, anything else. It's, it's covered in the thing. So there's a working relationship there, which is really nice. So the price that you see uh, at silencershop.com is the price that you're going to pay. In any event, buy it there, uh, pay for your tax stamp while you're there as well, and you use your silencer shop account. They can either, uh, you can come down here and you'll, what you want to do before you come down, uh, the good thing to do is download the app on your phone. So there's an app on your phone. You're going to use that app later to take a uh, picture of yourself for your passport photos. And that'll get uploaded to Sounds Shop. In any event, you come down, you can either come here to scan a code, which they'll email you a code. You can use your code here on this, not just this fingerprint scanner down here. We'll scan your fingerprints. It'll scan the code, QR code. So it's easy. You can do it that way. Or rather than do that, you could just hit it if it's, you know, in an email form and you just printed it out and your phone battery died or something. You can type in that code as well. Or you can come down and you can actually create your thing right here. So you can enter your first, last name, cell phone, email. If you already have a silencershop.com web uh, account, you can uh, put that in here uh, and go that way, and you don't have to use a QR code if you don't want. It's a couple different ways. Anyway, you've got to find one of these, like I said, uh, with a roundabout way. We're skipping our steps just a little bit here. Find one of them. Go to silencershop.com. Click on locate a dealer. You'll find, uh, like here in Indiana, there's just over 60 that are, uh, that ha that are in that network, that Silencer Shop network, powered by Silencer Shop. Um, uh, of those roughly 60, about 20 of them have a kiosk. This is just here in the state of Indiana. Of course, they're, you know, they're in every state in the country. Um, well, every state that allows silencers, speaking of which silencers are legal, if I didn't say it at the start, they are legal. They are legal in 42 states. So 42 out of 50, there are eight states that uh, don't believe you have a right to protect your hearing. You know, so contact your representatives on that. And there are many uses for silencers. We've gotten into that before. Saving your hearing, being courteous and kind to uh, neighbors, for example. If you're out hunting, um, you're out and you're, you know, you're going to take a shot and you know, you've been in a tree stand for five or six hours, you don't have time to put in your hearing protection. Well, guess what? If you've got a silencer on the end of your uh, rifle, you're going to be in a much better place to take that shot if you don't choose not to put in your plugs. And it is legal to hunt in 40 of the 50 states in this uh, great nation with uh, with a silencer in 40 of those states. So yes, there are hunting purposes involved with these as well. You find a kiosk, you come down to the kiosk. The kiosk is a one and done situation. So when you come and visit this kiosk, let's say you kind of live in the middle of nowhere, you know, you're an hour or hour and a half from, you know, your nearest kiosk, um, which I think the, you could probably get to one within 45 minutes of pretty much anywhere you live in Indiana here. I can't speak for all the states. I haven't looked at all of them, but let's say it is quite a drive for you. You know, let's say you live out in Montana or something. You've got a long drive to get your closest one. Um, you only have to visit this once. So you come down, you put your fingerprints in and stuff. You never have to come back. And for updating your photo, you take that from your phone. So that's uh, good news there. So you buy your silencer, let's say at silencershop.com. You buy your tax stamp while you're there as well. You come down, you, put in your, you go through your steps, you put in your fingerprints, and the, uh, the scanner in here and the software inside here will make sure and let you know just how, not just how to do it, so you don't have to have an employee around you if you're worried about uh, with some of the COOF stuff going on right now. They wipe this thing down uh, in between users and whatnot, so 
nothing to worry about there and you can do this all by yourself that there is a dealer uh, you know and employees here that are here to help if you need the help but um, you can technically just come up here do this all by yourself not have to interact with anybody and walk right out the door uh, if you needed to so that is nice uh, as well so anyway you come down you put your stuff in uh, then when you uh, so one of the things that you're going to have to decide when you're buying your silencer uh, when you start doing your paperwork is are you going to do a uh, do it as an individual as a trust or as a corporation now there's advantages to uh, to, to each of those three um, we're not going to talk at all about corporation because if you want to do it as a corporation you already know what you're doing there and you don't need to hear this video about it um, there are other resources for that so we're going to focus on individual versus trust individual means you're getting the stamp in your name and by the end of this video we're going to dispel or on the how to buy a silencer video we're going to dispel some of the myths as far as you know class three licenses which isn't really a thing when you're talking about an individual buying or trust buying right um and and some other things as well we'll get into those in that other video look for that probably to drop about a month after going as an individual uh may be the right thing for you you don't have to worry about setting up a trust and things like that However, uh, if you've got a spouse you want to uh, have or you're going to have children, you want to leave it in your will, it is way better in my opinion, this is my personal opinion, um, to go with a trust uh, because that way, um, you know, for your, you can put your children on there as, uh, as a beneficiary uh, down the line for when you pass away and then that means as, that tr as they get added onto that trust to become responsible parties after they turn 18, um, and you can put them on before they turn 18. And we're gonna get into that. How old do you have to buy a silencer? Basically 21 to a dealer, 18 if you're buying from an individual, but that'll be for that next video. We'll cover a lot of that stuff. So going with that trust may be the right thing for you. I know for me, for passing you know these items down to my family and to my wife, it'll make things a lot simpler down the road to take care of this now. Um, and we'll go through you know those things in another video. We'll, we'll touch on those, but for this one, we're gonna stay focused in on this kiosk. In any event, this will take the place of your FD258, your fingerprint card, so you don't have to take an appointment and go down and get fingerprinted at your local police department. Um, so there are a lot of benefits to this. And like I said, it's a one and done thing. So they will store these online for as long as you want them to so that you can just keep buying things and you don't even have to come back in here until you're ready to pick them up. Um, like I said, you upload your photo from the app. That photo needs to be updated once a year or whenever you're buying a new one if a year has passed. So you can use that same photo for 365 days to satisfy the law. Um, your fingerprints are good forever doing it this way but your that photo needs to be updated once a year that's why you have the app on your phone so you can do that from the privacy of your own home and they go through the instructions on there on how to take a good photo for that and also uh, you know the background you have to have you know you can't wear a hat or sunglasses stuff like that in any event after all that stuff's done um, you go online sign electronically so you don't even have to sign in person for your forms that are going to be submitted and then you wait after uh, the ATF gets done processing your paperwork, the FBI does your background check, all the stuff gets sent off from, by silencer shop so you don't have to deal with it, all the paper copies and everything that goes out. Um, you'll get a call from your dealer in uh, at this point, you know, six to nine months roughly is the turnaround time as of right now and you can come in and pick it up. It's that easy. Hopefully this covers all the questions that you had in regard to the SID kiosk. Um, it is really easy it makes things way simpler it's not to say that uh, if you just don't want to use the kiosk for whatever reason or anything else that your local dealer like right here at copper custom can help you fill out uh, the actual uh, paperwork your form 4 uh, get you uh, tell you know tell you how to properly fill out your portion of the fingerprint card that FD 258 and then uh, help you and point you in the right direction to get you either if you need to go to your local police department or sheriff's office depending on where you live etc etc help you through that process this makes it crazy easy either way even going through the old school you know paperwork route um it's not that hard it's not that bad and once you do it the first time you're like man why did i ever wait same thing goes for buying you know machine guns if you want to get into some other nfa items short barrel rifles stuff like that um you know it really makes it's not as hard as you think it is. Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. We appreciate it. Check out uh, 1776 United. They do our custom channel shirts as well as hoodies and other shirts like this. Uh, Big Cartel, we've got our website where you can buy unique swag you won't find anywhere else. A uh, special thank you to Copper Custom here and the folks here for letting us, uh, letting us uh, come in and uh, do a quick uh, video here on this. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care. Stay safe. And uh, we'll talk soon.